Hi everyone, it's Sheena from For the Love of Paper. And I've been a little busy, so I haven't made any videos. I've been doing a lot of crafting, but I haven't made any videos. But I'm here, I have a short window of time before I have to go get some blood work done. So I thought I would pull out one of these journals that I used to do. And this is the mystery journal where I pick something from inside this chest and then I have to collage um, and do a spread from that. Um, I used to pick things out and then kind of do this, but since I rearranged, pretty much everything that I would use is now over right here near me. So I don't have to like walk all the way around like I did before. So I'm just gonna pick something, no idea what it's gonna be and hopefully I can make something. I'm not sure what that says, but it looks like it may, might say fall actually. It does, interesting enough. Oh my goodness. Um, these are old pages. Love. I don't know what this one was. Postcard maybe? I don't even see the piece of paper. Anywhere. So that would have been the last one. So I'm going to... Maybe I better let it flat like that. So you can see... This is the piece. You know I just got rid of all my fall paper. Not even kidding. I just came back from taking stuff to the storage unit. And one of the things that I took was fall. Um, because I didn't think I'd be doing any of it this year. Well, funny. Um, I think I can get around it though. So, I'm just going to... a piece of coffee dye paper. Um, let's see what's in here. These are book pages, but I don't think there are any thing haul related. So what did you know? Holden book. July, October. I like this page with words on. Um, one of the things I also took to a storage unit was like six of these books. Actually, older versions, not the new ones, but. Fallish though. That could be a little better. Oh, those are more colored ones. Those are the new ones, I think, at the front here. So. I like this top part here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off. Yep, today I had off since it's the holiday and I got the car, my car transferred into my own name. Finally, that 
shower job is over. My last obligation is finished. Um, and then I went to my friends and we went out to eat and did laundry. And I don't think there's any pumpkins in this. No. Uh, then I stopped and bought a storage unit and then I came home and put, took everything out to the storage unit. And now I just have a little bit of time. This, this, I want some black paper. Black paper. I can't believe I picked fall and I, I even had a whole thing of fall washi tape. Goodness. I do have something else though. I'm just going to have to modify this. So I'm thinking. There should be. There's that girl. That girl, she's got apples, she's got apples and a leaf, I must not have one with a pumpkin. No. Okay, unless there's one other one in here. I like her with the darker hair. Use that. Let's see what I have in here. Some mushrooms. I like a red one. Not that kind of red though. I like the spotted ones. Like that. Okay. Just looking at these butterflies. Maybe that one. For some reason I thought there was pine cones in here. It's all like Christmas trees. Nope. There's this, but that's like too wrong direction, I feel not the direction I want to go. Yep, no pine cones in there either. Okay. Well then. I haven't dug in this thing in a long time. A very long time. Okay, let's start with that. Oh, I don't let me see if there's any fall like in here. There's this washi tape. That 
its flowers. Um, I don't think any of these are going to be very fall. Nope. What's this? I see mushrooms. This stuff stinks. Mm, I might be able to use some of that. I'll leave that out. Okay. Now I need more papers. So I need like that one. So maybe those two. I don't think these are all floral, I think. Yeah. Let me grab some black paper. I do have this black. Um, this is card stuff from Stampin' Up. Probably Early Expresso or something. So these pieces kind of just start with I'll do this all in like a good amount of time. I'm thinking I want maybe some frames. Oh, a frame. I don't remember what box they're in. Not that one. But I like those colors. Oops. We'll have to see. All right, so let me start putting some pieces on here. I don't like the frame for her. I'm trying to get the box out without knocking stuff over. Okay. So maybe something more oval. Mm -hmm. 
There's a lot of space on this. Um, oops. Page. Mushrooms. The page is so big. Trying to see if I can make it just into like the center. With less. I pulled this black out or something, but I don't remember what. this on the floor. I'm not sure I like that part of that strip now. Don't see that at all. Let's see in here. It's like these darker florals from. Warm wallpaper. Bring that out of there. Let's see what else is in here? See me, I'm using things that I didn't know I had because when I cleaned, I found, I found things that have now been unearthed. I'm going to need something to go in there, I think. What's 
that. Just green. I feel like I need a pumpkin of sorts. I'm pretty, pretty positive I don't have any. Stick that off the side of my mat. There's another one. I wonder if this. I see stickers in my head that I know I have from something that I recently saw. But I don't remember where they are. What was I in? They're like long, clear stickers. This is why I had to get rid of stuff because I just had way too much. Going on to not even remember what I had. She needs some ink. So I'm going to just start putting this together. Just so she's not bright white. crazy. I may have already on that first strip. It was a little thick. Not my last glue stick, that wasn't the truth. I used up the last of that glue stick. I have a ton of um, the scrapbooking paper, like this cardstock. 
So I pulled all that out. I, I cleaned a whole bookshelf of books to get rid of, I didn't get rid of them. Well, that's not true. I got rid of some books and some went to storage. So then a whole bookcase is now just full of paper and the other bookcase is full of books. So when I want to pull paper, I literally just have to go to the bookcase and all of it's there except for like scrapbook paper, the 12 by 12 scrapbook papers. Everything else is there. I should have did this before I glued, but. Put that on there. And then we'll come in with this. on there. This is that whole corner. When I had a storage unit before, it was like $40. Now they're up to $75. I could hardly believe it. And that's for the exact same size as I had before, which isn't even that big. It's a five by 10. It's big enough for what I need though. That, and I think, this will go here. So I'm really just putting a collage base down, I guess you could say. Um, I think I should have did this on the other one and it's a little late now, but I think I want to, oops, deckle that edge a little. This is not a good glue stick, but it was the first one there, so that's the one I took. Can I, by chance... better than it was. So she is just going to stand in this. Now that looks massive. Alright, maybe she needs a little bit of one. here oops I just lost an acorn where did that go oh no idea no idea oh well stay focused I don't like that white on the tops of this I'm not a super fan of all those, like the white around the leaves, but that's the way the sticker's created, so. Oh my gosh, look what I did. Oh. Made a mess.
that is glued down. I cannot get it to peel because now my fingers are wet. There we go. She doesn't look very inked up. that. That's going to go there. That. Was there something up there? There was. This. I kind of wanted that number right there to stick out, so I'm going to put that off to the side. Um, let's see what else. I need to somehow glue this down. Just use art glitter glue and go right around the edges. off to the side a little bit like that um, I'll go ahead and put this down I really don't want all that white around it though to be honest so he's gonna lose his things here that's gonna go there that is sticking up a very brittle piece right there guess I can go ahead and stick this down and then I'll come back in with some other stickers Five still there. I see a thing that needs popped out on this one. I've had these for years. I actually took this this uh oops. Oops. Where's that piece at that needs popped out? Maybe it came out. Nope, right there it is. Yeah, so I have this like drawer thing behind me. So that's what I, a thing I cleaned out and just trying to get some of that glue up put all my Tim Holtz stuff in it. So it's like right here, accessible. That's sticking up. This Avery glue is not good, to be honest. Okay, there's this acorn. around this one. I'll 
probably find the other one on the floor later. leaf here. Oh, I wonder if this is one I have to cut out. Shouldn't be. Can't remember how to use these. I really don't remember. Let me cut through here. Take that piece of tape off. Oh, I do see now. They are two pieces. So, let me get this orange flower right here. things. My fingernails are terrible because I did something really dumb and got, um, what's that stuff called? Dip on my fingernails. Oh my gracious. It ruined them. You can hardly see that one. It ruined them so bad. I should have never done that. So now I have dents in my fingernails and I'm not getting them done again until they grow out. So these I think are PET stickers or something. I'm almost certain I got them from AliExpress. And this is the first I'm using them. Who knows when I got them? So this is was the problem. I was buying and not using, and now I'm using. Come on. I will say they aren't the easiest things. Watch me peel a sticker. Oh my goodness. Oh, I got it. What is that? Now I got it stuck on the sticker. Oh my goodness. for now. Let's see. I want this little flower up here in this corner, I think, because of the white mushroom.
looking to see what's along this thing. for like a mushroom that will go in that right there. I think that's too big. I like the shape of it, but I think it's too big. I know some people are afraid to use these stickers because the white around the edges, I just cut it off. Just like in some of, like when you're cutting out ephemera from a digital or something. There are some older books that are glossy paper and you, there's nothing you can do to get around the glossy, but the newer versions of the books, and even that one, because it was like birds, bees, and butterflies. No, that's not what it was. It's the green botanist sticker book. Um, that one, my first version I got was glossy. The second one I got was not glossy. So the one for glossy, I use just whenever I'm decorating doing packages, whenever I'm sending out like packages from my Etsy shop. Can I make you go a little lower? Perfect. that thing there, but I don't know that it's gonna... Maybe this one. One more time for that missing acorn. I have no idea. So yeah, I haven't done any of these type of journal spreads in a really long time. Um, because everything was like I had to walk all the way around to get them 
now everything's right over here as far as like different types of things that I would be using. So um, those are all really tiny. leaf here. That and this thing right here, I think. So this leaf. It's only just four. I have to leave. It's ten after four. I have to leave at five. I'm going to put that burgundy one with that there. And it's part of a sticker sticking. What are they going to color those mushrooms? see it. Put this thing right here. Because this one's almost already cut up, I'll just cut out and put it there too. Okay. I don't know that I'm going to use these. sure exactly how this is going to work because you can't really see what it does. Where'd they go? One came out. Where's the other one? Oh, it's sticky and it's stuck on there. I don't see my poke tool. like I planned it would. All right, we'll board those things. This piece that shouldn't be there. This needs some glue here. That needs glue. This needs a little glue. Okay. 
Okay. for the Halloween words that I just want to see if I can find something that will work. on the floor. I have literally no idea where they would have gone. I feel like there's words and phrases. This is a book that I need to put away. All this is trash. No idea. I can't keep looking for it, but I literally have no idea where I would have put it. I didn't get up and walk away. I mean, I did, but not anywhere that I can't see. No clue. I will have to find that later. So I can't put no fun all saying on it without it. Nope. Crazy. Anyway, that will be my spread for fall. I don't even see, oh, here's a little word from it. Usually I put it on something that pulls out, but Guess not this one. I still don't understand where that book has gone. I'm just gonna look one more time over here. No, it's not there anywhere. No 
idea. I really just don't know. I can show you, this is something that I did, art journaling, and somewhere, um, is, I'll show you this. This is a flip-flop journal that I made. Let me go ahead and move this. I really have no, I would like to put like a little saying there as it relates to fall, but um, I don't know where that sticker book went to. I literally have them all here. I'm just gonna make myself look one more time. No, none of those are Halloween. I can't explain it. Those are real tales. Those are some of the Tim Holtz stamp words. Yeah, no, no idea. Anyway. So, I made this, um, with magazine, this is a piece of vellum, and then just added some pieces to, to it. I had it in a different art journal, but I didn't felt it matched the theme, so I ripped it out. So, that's going to have to go in something else. This is one I started a while ago. What time am I up to? Oh my gosh, 58 minutes. This is going to take forever to upload. But I started in, so there's that little page, this little page, this guy here, and then I redid, I had done this a long time ago when I first created the journal. I didn't like it, so I came back in, pulled away some elements, and added some more in. So this is going to be like a Tim Holtz themed collage art journal is what my intention is with this. So I've done a few pages in that. Um, let's see what else. I started a different art journal that I made from paper bags. And that is down here. Sorry, that was my sneaker. This, let me put this little in the glue. So this one I made just a bunch of weird pieces. Because it's the cover, I put my Mod Podge on it. That's why it's kind of shiny, even though it was supposed to be matte. But I just wanted it protected. And then I did this page, this page. We're just bringing some different colored pieces. Um, uh, magazine paper and then I, these two I just did yesterday or Saturday maybe what day of the week is today Monday so probably I think I did them yesterday morning actually so this is just a paper bag um, no navy paper bag and a mailer an Amazon mailer that I just put together so I have that, so I worked on that. And then this I taught myself how to do. I haven't done anything in this yet. This is a flip-flop journal. I wanted to do one, and the other day I watched a video and came out here and did it. So this is the front page. It's just like a postcard, postcard, <laughs> postcard. And I did a little stamping on it, um, added a piece of fabric for the tab. There's a quote on the back. And then um, it's got five signatures in it. So just some random pieces of paper in here. Uh, that's the first signature. This one has a little pocket here. So you can tuck something in there. And then this signature. Again, a bunch of random pieces. It's going to be a good art journal, I think. Um, 
I want to make a few of these and list them as naked art journals. So you can kind of see some of the pieces in it. It has an undertone of butterfly theme. Just some old and new pages stuck in here. Vintage ledger, some glassine paper. This one, I actually sewn the signature together and then had to take it apart because somehow I missed these two pieces. So then that's that way. And then you come back and you flip it the other way. And again, just a mix of papers. Old and new. I did leave it a little bit more rugged. Didn't keep everything aligned the same. Just that one, and then this one. I think that's the... I think this is the third signature here. Maybe there might be one more. This thing is kind of confusing for my brain. Yep, nope, then that goes back to the beginning. So you have a signature here, here, and here, and then on the opposite side, there and there. So there's a total of five signatures. Three on the front, and then two on the back. So I thought that was cute. I threw that together the other day, and I think that's where I'm gonna end my video because this is gonna take a ridiculous amount of time to upload. I'm positive of that. So um, it would be that I literally come back from taking all my fall stuff only because I am not making any fall stuff for my shop. I still have some fall things in there for purchase and I just skipped and went right to Christmas this year. My apartment's decorated for fall but I didn't do any fall like junk journal stuff, ephemera, anything like that. So um, yeah, I compromised and we got some stuff in, so I hope you enjoyed this, what I thought was going to be quick, and now we're at an hour and three minutes video, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.